It's been 70 years since Allied forces stormed the beaches of Normandy on D-Day, but the memory is still fresh for many Collier County veterans. Those that came to the Naples Depot Museum to honor America's D-Day veterans heard chilling narratives of that harrowing day, a reminder of what so many men gave up on June 6, 1944. Because we should never forget the sacrifices and what our veterans had to go through to achieve this, the liberty and the freedoms that we enjoy today. You know, it's, it doesn't come free. It cost many lives, and we can never forget that. Guests had the privilege of exploring authentic World War II memorabilia, from a Sherman tank and other military vehicles to Nazi uniforms and World War II reenactors in full Army attire. The message was clear. June 6, 1944, D-Day, is a day that won't soon be forgotten. Today was a very special day, remembering those who died to save the Jews, Europe, and our grandchildren born today of these great men and women because of what happened in Normandy on June the 6th, 1944, D-Day. The audience was all ears as veterans recounted their experiences 70 years ago on the beaches of Normandy. It's hard to believe that such an accomplishment was possible. I myself have visited the beaches of Normandy and I actually walked out on, into the waters off of Normandy at Omaha Beach and looked back up the beach to see what these men had to conquer and it was, it seemed impossible, absolutely impossible, yet they persevered and they hung on and they continued the charge. And at the end of that longest day, they had achieved their objective. As the Naples High School JROTC color guard played taps to close the ceremony, the audience stood to honor the D-Day veterans. Daniel Christenberry for Call Your Focus.